All right. Hey, girl. My dog's staring at me, guys. She thinks I'm weird because she doesn't really know who I'm talking to. Okay, she laid back down. Hey y'all, it's Brittle Trees and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here today. So what I have for you guys is my best purchases of 2022. Y'all, I am so excited. And to make sure that I am like giving each of them the love that they deserve, I narrowed them down to a top five because guys, I feel like I could be like, I love this, I love that, I love this. But my top five was based on my cost per wear so how much I'm really using it it's practicality and how easily it fit into my life and then the overall like style like do I like it is it me you know does it really feel like it's like we'll say loosely a forever piece because you know style changes and evolves but uh these are pieces that I'm like oh yeah I'm so glad I bought these this is a good choice this is a really good choice so let's get started the first item y'all is something that i think could be very debatable because a lot of people don't like to admit how much they love this item but the truth is she's practical so let me go get her and it is this long chomp bag like y'all you know i'm not gonna lie i do not think these get the love that they deserve but truthfully y'all i've had I've had about three maybe I think this is my fourth one um, because I just use them until they like fall apart and then I like rebuy them this is a great bag especially I would say for work um, if you like take public transit ever um, living in major cities like I think it's just it's very like understated but such a luxurious item so we love her I don't think there's been a time where this has not been a part of my handbag collection even though I don't really speak on it like the luxury item that it is but we're speaking on it now also I actually just got this one not too long ago I hadn't had a long chomp bag in a long time but when I re kind of adopted it into my collection I'm like oh yes I know why this is something that we continue to replenish and have on deck because she's she's good she's reliable and she she does what she needs to do okay all right I know like this is technically putting me at six but in fourth place we have a tie it is between these two LV items so the zippy coin purse I realized I accidentally called it the zippy wallet in my last video and there is a zippy wallet it's longer but the zippy coin purse that I love, adore, and use every single day it is my primary like wallet at the moment. And the niece BB, y'all, I can't, I couldn't choose. But I also couldn't knock the other things I wanted to show you off the list. So that's how this happened. This forge practicality, we love her. I've wanted this for a long time. Got it, and haven't looked back. And this because it stores all my beauty. I love beauty, y'all. I'm such a beauty girl. I love my makeup. I love my skincare. And to have something that is for that, but designer? <laughs> hey. All right. So we, we love it, okay? She's... I still need to get my Samorga organizer, and then I can show y'all how I'm going to organize this. But I already know. Practicality best purchase right here like you better believe it so these two in the fourth spot the zippy wallet and the niece bb so all right i just grabbed it y'all so in third place is this amiri coat third doesn't even seem high enough for this but bear with me i am trying to keep it thematic to the top five here but this coat is all cashmere it is by Amiri and it's this beautiful like dark taupe color um and I love it like it is slouchy sleeves it is it, like hits your ankles it just looks like money whenever I wear this I get so many compliments and clearly I don't buy for that reason but I really appreciate that people see 
the piece of art that is this coat because it is a beautiful coat. It is so gorgeous. Um, I was really lucky and got it at an ultra discount in the middle of the summer when I couldn't even wear it. My mom was like, you gonna spend that much on a coat? I'm like, girl, this is the cheapest coat go get, okay. But, <laughs> but I'm so happy I have it. It's been such a wonderful addition to my wardrobe and this is truly like a forever piece. It's so soft, like even just against my body right now, I'm like, oh. In third place, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I have spent other videos talking about it, but it is my Chanel mini flap. I love it so much, y'all. It's over 30 years old. It's vintage, it's series one. It's an excellent vintage condition. Like, wow, just wow. And I just think about all the weekends that I just took it and grabbed and go. The way that I've adjusted the straps, I personally like to carry it more as a shoulder bag slash kind of baguette. It's so cute. It's one of my favorite pieces. And honestly, I don't have a lot of black bags at the moment, but it filled this void that I didn't even realize needed to kind of be filled in my wardrobe. But when I found myself just like bringing it along on to like so many journeys, like she's been a little bit of everywhere, coffee shop runs, all the things. And it has always been such a good thing to have. It did change my relationship with lambskin as well, as I know I've mentioned before. And I just love it. It's gorgeous. It's so nice and I, I just love how it feels and everything. So glad I bought this. And in first place for me for 2022, I'm gonna give it to my Bottega Mini Jody. Oh my gosh, y'all. I love this bag so much. I know there's a ton of mixed reviews on YouTube about this bag, but let me, let me just say a few things about it. I think this brown color, I always forget the proper name of it, but I just think it looks so luxurious with the Bottega leather. Like it's something about the darker color Jodies for me that are just chef's kiss. I know the zipper isn't necessarily the most convenient attribute of this bag, but like y'all, tell me a bag that everybody's like, it's perfect. I have no qualms about it. There's no bag that exists like that that I know of. Thinking about it with that in mind, if you like a small bag, if you like a simple shape but classic look, if you love an all leather piece, truly leather inside and out, oh, that's like my favorite part to be honest. Um, and something that goes with everything but also is understated yet super classic, this is it. And I think that's what makes me put it in a number one spot. I've worn it so much since I bought it. I actually, it's interesting. I tried this on before my trip to Europe. And after I ultimately realized that I wasn't going to get an Hermes bag during the trip, because you know, I did politely decline. Then I was like, listen, this is the bag for me. Like, this is what I want. I need to reconsider and get this. And I'm so, so happy. Like, it's made me fall in love with this brand on a whole different type of level. And I'm just so appreciative of like the art, the design, like its simplicity. I've brought it along with me so many places and it always just hits. It's a really, it's a cute bag and it's a vibe. And um, we love her. We are team mini bag over here always. So this just works and it goes with everything. It is so nice. It carries just enough. And I don't know, it, it always enhances every single outfit in the most understated, but amazing type of way. All right, y'all, that is everything I have. Let me know in the comments if you were surprised by anything. I actually myself was surprised that my mini Jody took the number one spot. I was like, if you asked me like a few months ago, of course, before I owned it and all that stuff, I, I would have never believed it like at all. But that is where we've landed. And I'm really, really excited to see what the new year brings. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications each time I upload. I'll talk to you later. Bye.